And the no number one thing is that you need to know is that you must protect the integrity of the things that you love. Protect the integrity of the things that you love. Don't let people trample on what you love. You take care of it. That's the reason why that if uh, if somebody's if, if uh, you know somebody's got a, a few brothers, is that these brothers, boy, they can argue and argue and argue about everything and anything, and they get beat up on each other all the time. But let someone else come in and say the exact same thing, and all three of them will jump on that person. Why? Because they're protecting the integrity of the things that they love. The second thing that's really heavy on me at this moment is that you must always affirm publicly the things you embrace privately. You must always affirm publicly the things that you embrace privately. That's a, that's huge. You know, I had a girlfriend in high school. You know, I wasn't, I, first off, I wasn't a Christian in high school. So let's establish that right here. I didn't have my behavioral act together at the time, but her name was Pam. And during the day in front of everyone else, Pam would just kind of like put me off, not, not pay any attention to me, not give me any preferential type treatment. As a matter of fact, people thought that she was just kind of all over you know, she didn't really care for me. But yet at the same time, at nighttime, I couldn't keep this girl away from me. She was all lovey-dovey. She was all great words. She was all everything. And this was at night. But during the day, she was something else. But you need to remember, always affirm publicly what you embrace privately. Never make a person's public reputation, pay the price of your unwillingness to be able to stand up for them. I have a minister friend, a man that I love and respect greatly. And, and really I've, I've made it to most of his books or many of his books, let's say that. And you hear about this man who has done this for them, done that for them, Done, done this, always been there, been willing um, to teach on things and relationship and all of these other issues of integrity and, and just, just speak just such great words. The problem was, was that he never used my name publicly. I have several people that are like that. Don't you think that at times that your reputation could use a boost in front of others? Absolutely. So you must always affirm publicly the things that you embrace and the things that minister to you privately. That's really important. Remember this. Proverbs 18.21 in the Message Bible says, Now words kill and words give life. They're either poison or fruit. You're the one that needs to choose. 